Alright guys, welcome back to Master Wing. It's Premier League time. You know what we're doing here. Let's hop right into it. We got a game against Thane. Lex, I believe. Thane. Oh, look at this hand. My goodness. Uh, I've been playing Wingspan for two years. I don't know if I've ever been dealt two hummingbirds. Of course, we like to see Benelli's. I've been on the receiving end of that card for a while. Uh, let me see. Chipping Sparrow in the tray. We do not get to go first. Probably go with Diet Specialist here. And we could keep both Hummingbirds, Egret, and Benelli's. Have a very generous game. Um, let me think. I like it. We're going to be handing out a ton of food, though. Hey, we... The Hummingbird Special. We got eggs in the grassland. Yeah, I like what we got. I think it's about that time, people. It's about that time. Let's do it. Play the intro. <laughs> gonna be a fun one I can just tell yes my opponent did take the chipping sparrow like we thought and we're putting down Anna's might take the white throated swift as well hmm yes he did take the white throated swift so he could play Chipping Sparrow and Swift right away. He knows we're going to be giving him some food with Hummingbird. Just wait till he sees we have two Hummingbirds coming his way. Uh, there's a fish in the bird feeder. I need the fish. Oh, Chipping Sparrow in the Grassland. We don't see that a lot. But probably a good play since he's going to have a lot of food coming his way anyway. Wow. Um, Snow Egret. Let's do it. So we're going to get a food for our second hummingbird. Question is, do we need to play this hummingbird in the wetlands or the grassland? First end around goal is eggs in the grassland. If he plays the swift in the grassland, that gives him more egg spaces. So I'm thinking wetlands. We will see. Yep, okay. So, I think that makes me lean towards Hummingbird in the wetlands. I was going to play it in the grassland if we could get the end around, but not anymore. Now it's time we dig. Black Woodpecker and Meadowlark. It's going to be a hard no for both of those. Yep, we need food more than he does. We are committed to the Hummingbird Special. Old Ruby Throat. Might need to look out for Omnivore Expert. That would be clutch. And get these Hummingbird... Oh! Cash, thank you. Let's go. Snowy Egret. Uh, we need more cards. 
Oh, hooded crow. That could be useful. It goes with my diet specialist too. Yellow hammer is a no. I'm liking this hooded crow though. <coughs> Excuse me. Snowy Egret, one for one. Come on, team. Oh, I messed up. Dang. I messed up. I should have reset the bird feeder, giving my Snowy Egret a chance to cash. So we will not make that mistake again. He probably wouldn't have cashed anyway with only one, but... We need every single point. Uh, let's see, one turn left. I think I'm playing an early Benelli. He's got the food, yeah. Uh, we, can't, we can't play the crow, and when I lay eggs, I want there to be three. Early game Benelli. I'm kinda worried my opponent has Franklin's goal though because he had a fish hey European bee eater and the wood duck I think I have to deny that uh, the bee eater is what the doctor ordered we need more food resource cards um and yeah, he played the Vireo and that Pine Siskin. I bet you he has a... Egret again! Come on! Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Um, that American Coot could be useful... Uh, the prairie chickens, probably a no for me. My opponent did play the Franklin's goal like we thought. So he doesn't need any wetland birds. I think I want to keep drawing. Hey, what? Eastern Imperial, that's what we like to see. Like I said, I've been on the receiving end and we have already secured both eagles. I wanna get this hooded crow down in the bee eater. I think we're still in good shape even though he has a goal. Oh, and then the egret fails with four dice outside the bird feeder. Come on, man. All right, it's bee eater time. Don't fail me. Please don't fail me. There we go. We want to seed here. Yeah. Hoping this hooded crow comes in clutch. Alright, he played the common loon. Thanks to us and our hummingbirds. He should be activating his grassland quite a bit, so Hooded Crow with the Diet Specialist. Here we go. Two turns left. We did lay eggs again. We are going to lose this end of round.
We need more cards to tuck. Sapsucker Condor. Hmm. Condor is a maybe. I am going to discard an egg. Chiff Chaff. Hmm. I don't think we're going to utilize the Chiff Chaff either. Uh, yeah, Chiff Chaff. I, I want cards to tuck with the Hooded Crow. And... I think laying eggs is still better than the chip chaff. Y'all, this snowy egret is busted. Snowy egret wingspan busted. Golly. Uh, one turn left. We need to keep those eggs in the cavity nest. Um, I'm going to draw cards again. I really am hoping for a tucking bird for this grassland. Come on, team. Gannet, no. Kingfisher, probably not. Dang. It's okay. Um, we're gonna get a few crow tucks. We know for sure we're gonna play the Eastern Imperial Eagle. We only have two eggs left, so I'll probably play Eagle and then lay eggs. He's got five food. This American coot may still be worth it. Hmm. All right. We need to draw something good right here. I love this teal power at the end of the round. And that's not what we need. Alright, we're behind on end of round goals for the second time. Round three goal is eggs with a bull nest that have an egg. It's either American Coot or Eagle. I think it's Eagle time. So then when I lay eggs, I'll lay four. Right? Trying to think what else we could do. We might take a chance on this California condor as well. My opponent got this painted bunting down. He's got what, five bull nest birds? Looks like we're gonna lose this end around as well. We're in a tight spot. Not a bunch of big point birds, though, on his side. He's almost out of egg space. Um, yeah. He'll probably play a bird next, but we are going to play this Eastern Imperial Eagle for a nice... Uh, what is that? Eight point play. And another diet specialist bird. Um, don't think I will need this chiff chaff. We're not gonna be using that. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not gonna switch back to a full tuck. Oh man. So 
he gained food. We're going to get some eggs on a bull nest. We did not activate the hummingbird last time, but this time we are going to stack up on some food here. Anticipating that we're going to have a big point bird bomb that we need to play. Oh man, the American bitter. It's a nice six point play for him. Even with the two eagles, I think we are behind a little bit. I'm gonna be drawing cards. We still have, what, nine turns left in the game? Maybe this coot will uh, score me a few extra points. Gets me to that last slot in the wetlands. Let's do it. We're desperate. All right. Um, let's draw cards. Hey, let's go, Goss. Canvasback, Bluebird. Ooh, Godwit. Wow, that was a good draw for us, actually. I think the Godwit will complete my Diet Specialist. And Goss is easy to play. Interesting. Come on, Snowy Egret. Let's do it. Oh. Hey, seven points. He's still good. He's still good. Sobbies. Oh, yeah, I forgot he played Sobbies. Um, we're not going to win the goal. I either play Condor or Goshawk. I need some cards for the crow to tuck at the end of the round. I think I want to take a chance on this condor for a good bonus card. We'll take Omnivore Expert. Come on, team. Is that the, I mean, Goshawk is going to be more points. I could, actually, two turns left. I could play both and still qualify for the end around goal. Yeah. I'm going to try this condor. Uh, visionary leader, or wildlife gardener. I guess visionary leader could work. I don't see me playing a bunch of bull nest birds. Hmm. So the last end around goal is cards in hand. That may work out with Visionary Leader. He's got a ton of bullness birds, so I think we just go with the Gosshawk here. have three wetland star nest birds. <laughs> that aren't really gonna do anything for me. All right, we are at the end of round three. Thanks for watching so far. If you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel. Hey, Roadrunner, we'll take it. I like the greater Roadrunner. It's been helpful in the past. Five turns left in the game. We could play Godwit. Oh, but we need eggs, don't we? Yeah. We can't play Godwit or Roadrunner without eggs, so I think that's what we have to do.
right, so now we have six food and we can play both of those birds. The road runner would be five points, the god would be four points plus bonus. It also gives me cards for visionary leader and the end of round. Uh, the Roadrunner might help us lay in eggs. We've got a couple ways we could play this round four. We need to think about it. All right. Four turns left. Probably gonna lay eggs the majority of his remaining turns. I'm gonna see if this bonus card helps me figure out what to do. Oh, passerine every freaking time. Okay, move on. Um, red kite or Inca dove? The kite I could play on the condor for five points. Inca Dove helps with Passerine. Um, I've already completed Diet Specialist. I do have a lot of platform this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the Inca Dove would be a seven point play with all those platforms. And the Abandon the Roadrunner. I think so. The Roadrunner's five points, Inca Dove is seven. Three turns left, I draw cards. I gain four points for Visionary Leader. I grab a seed from the bird feeder, hopefully. Um, this last end around will be interesting. Because he could gain, what, four more cards with, four to six more cards with his uh, Franklin's goal? Hmm. This is an intense game. Although I would expect nothing less with this Premier League. I think since Visionary Leader in round four, end of round, go hand in hand. Drawing cards here is not a bad move. Oh man, he played the Wild Turkey, six points for him. So that's a good move. But we need to focus on what we're gonna do. He'll probably lay eggs the remainder of the game. Let's think about this. Sitting at 79 points. I could play Roadrunner, that's five, then lay eggs for another five, and lose the end of round. Or, let me see, we could draw cards one more time, qualify for Visionary Leader, give me an extra tuck with the Hooded Crow and the American Coot. And maybe a snowy egret activation. Yep, I think drawing cards is the uh, better move here. Corsican nut hatch. And a cowbird. Um, let me see, that gives me six cards. Um, two turns left. We can't play two passerine birds in two turns. But if I play Inca Dove, that puts me at five birds. Five cards, I mean. 
Oh, Wingspan. Wingspan is just a bunch of counting. Uh, let's see. Missionary leader. Play Inca Dub. That's five. And then the last turn will either lay eggs or draw cards again and try to win the end of round. I don't think I need to discard an egg right here. No. Man, what a game. We gave him the Hummingbird Special. We've had Condor, Goss, Benelli, and Imperial. A bunch of free birds. We've had a spectacular snowy egret. Yes, thank you. We need that seed for the Inca. Feels close, but we are losing end of round goals pretty bad. Whew. This is intense. Um, Inca dub for seven points. Let's go. If I've learned anything in this Premier League, every point matters. Take your time. We're sitting at 91 points. He has five cards in his hand, as do I. So he could use the gold twice, gain four more cards and put him at nine. However, he has that white-throated swift, so I would assume he'd tuck some under the swift for more points. Um, I'm gonna find out here in just a second. He has enough egg space to lay eggs twice. Okay, so now he has six cards. He did tuck one under the swift. So this is our last turn. Let me think here. One, two, three, four. So we could lay eggs for five points, or we could gain four cards. One, two, three, four. We would max out Visionary Leader. Well, we only need three cards to max out Visionary Leader. But Thane has six cards. So he could use the gold next turn and get eight cards. If we drew nine cards, we would win the end of round. So, doing some head math here. Uh, gaining more cards is in our favor because that's a six point swing to win the end of round. Visionary leader, that's another three points. Plus uh, American Coot Tuck, that's four points. The Snowy Egret could put me at five. Plus the Visionary leader in the end of round. That makes me ahead rather than just laying eggs. Yeah. Okay, that's it. This is the better move. Probably mumbling through all that. I'm sorry guys if you followed all that head math, but I think this last turn drawing cards gives us a better chance to win. 
since the end of round goal is cards in hand. Um, I'm going to give him food. Yeah, I want my snowy egret to have a better chance to cash. downside is I could be giving him food to play another bird bomb. Honestly, I should have picked up. Let's go! Snowy Egret! Eight points is the best Snowy Egret I've ever seen. Best Snowy Egret. Snowy Egret busted. Uh, yeah, but for that last hummingbird activation, I probably should have grabbed the fish because now he has three fish for a puffin play. Or I should have grabbed the rat in case he had the bald eagle. But hey, we, we, we can't play perfectly. But I think we squeezed out as many points as we could. I, I'm not 100% sure we have enough. He has more eggs. He has better end of round goals. We have more tucks though. And we didn't do terrible on our bonus cards. What a game. Every time I play Thanlex, it's close. So he's either going to play a bird here or lay eggs. But we did secure the end of round after all that contemplating. We do have more bird points as well. That's in our favor. This could be a neck and neck game. The Hummingbird Special sitting at 95 points. Hooded Crow has been good. The Snowy Egret has been amazing. All right, let's see where we land. Finally won a goal. Come on, team. 50 bird points. Oh, he has nine bonus card points. He beats me at end of round. He beats me with eggs. Do we have more tucks? Uh, I don't know. Oh, what? 105, 104. Team, we pulled it off. 105, 104. That was crazy. Wow. We said it was neck and neck. He had wetland scientist. Oh, that explains Savi's and bird counter. He did not have the puffin. What a close game. It doesn't get much closer than that. I've been on the other end of things, man. GG. Um, one point games could go either way. Wow. What a fun game. That was intense. Thanks for watching, y'all. Have a good evening. Peace.